What's up guys, Fuji here and I welcome you back to another episode of No Flare to Air, episode 14 and can I just say thank you ever so much for your support in the comment section, it was awesome to read through every single one of those and hopefully you guys can have your say and it's more enjoyable to follow along and build the team together but as you remember, we had the striker and RCM position open and available for the upgrade in today's video. And you guys really wanted me to bring in the likes of Balotelli. Now, he's an absolute monster this year. He was good last year, but even better so. But moving over to the RCM position, and we could have brought in a few players like some Marquisio, even though I didn't want to, the likes of Pirlo and a few others. But we did, in fact, go with the likes of Vidal. Now, he will suit that position very well. I wanted someone who was uh, well-rounded, who could defend, and also just suit that holding midfield role. And I think he just ticks all the boxes there. So super excited to actually play with him. I just needed to change his uh, position up so he could get, well, nine or 10 in chemistry. He's also got the shadow chemistry style. So that should improve a few of those attributes. But moving into the first game of the episode, and I did actually wonder why his attack rating was so low. And he's got the likes of Depay, Bakali, and Jesse Rodriguez in the front three attack. And they are some very nice plays indeed. But we were through in the second minute. Who is that? You know who it is. Scuffing it wide. And it is Niang. Now, he is a very nice player. I love skilling with him. I don't regret the purchase. It was a very good recommendation, but his shooting is just under par, and it's just one thing that really does let him down with his game, and I really want to go on some skill runs, you know, lads. In the next couple of episodes, I want to score the fantastic goal, and look at that. In the 22nd minute, who else to get his debut goal, and it is uh, Toro Vidal. It didn't take long, and I was very happy with that, but in the God's Honest Truth, this game was uh, probably one of the toughest I've played. Usually I take uh, control in midfield. I use a relentless attack or relentless pressure, I like to call it. Uh, but there was no space for me and he had more of the possession, even with the one goal up. Usually when my opponent's 1-0 down, uh, he starts to make a few mistakes. Then uh, it, there's more space for me to pass the ball through and through balls uh, and, more, and more chances created basically. But in this game, he, there was no space, and even with that one goal, like I said, I just couldn't move, and what that told me was he was a very good FIFA player, and that got me nervous, you know, because I thought he could easily get back into it. He had the ability, and it proved to be a very good game, and the, one of the reasons why I use, well, sort of a silver slash gold mix is because they play so well together, and EA have actually said that it's not because of an advantage, it's not because of handicap, it's because, well, some silver players have the most important stats in that preferred role, and could actually, or outperform goal players in the same position so that's very interesting to know but back into the game and in the 66th minute he crossed it in and what a fantastic run from Depay that was impossible to defend and he deserved that goal very good cross that we were through in the 86th minute Let, let's finish this game off go on Tevez Oh my god, what a fantastic recovery challenge. And just after that, I went in and completely mistimed it. I don't know if you've experienced this, lads, or you've done it yourselves. Let me know in the comment section below where you really want to anticipate your opponent's movement and turn. Just a quick cue win that ball back. And I could have gone on to another counter attack. But after that, he just finessed it and good save. No, you haven't. He literally has just pushed it into Jesse Rodriguez's path for him to steal the game in the 90th minute. Now, did he deserve that win? Maybe for the resistance. But if I didn't receive that red card, if he didn't receive that free kick, would it have gone in? That is something that we will never find out. But moving into the well, after game match ratings, and unfortunately with that loss, we don't receive man of the match, which entitles us to upgrade two players. We only get to upgrade uh, Storari, which is our goalkeeper. So moving on to the market, and it wouldn't be a silly outside without this guy, Juan Luigi Buffon. Absolute legend in my eyes. A fantastic keeper, still at his age. So we will pop him into the club. And I'm thinking, the team's come along very well but I really want to bring in uh, well not just big names but maybe some very nice uh, well rounded players not just the high ratings maybe players that we wouldn't have necessarily gone for so this series can uh, well reveal maybe hidden gems uh, as it were in the Serie A but moving into the second game of the episode a 4-1 2-1 uh, well brass silver side uh, again I'm coming up against Brazilian sides that are very strong and silvers like I hate coming up against Silver Sides because they are so good. But Constant with a shot there, just off the post. Can we get it? And we can't. But Vidal, he picks it up. Constant again. And that may be of headed in, actually, because it was a good block and it was a very powerful shot. But what a through ball. Oh, that was fantastic to Toro Vidal. What can he do? Cuts inside. Beautiful cut and steals him. But 
Wow, Tevez just cleans it up, but why is Vidal so high up the pitch? I thought he was sort of a CDM. Has he got high to high work rates? I'm going to have to check. I think he has. Last time I played with him on FIFA 13, he had high to high work rates. Unless they change, I do not know. But Balotelli, he does get himself a goal in the 39th minute. And it was a good finish, you know. It was well, a crossbody. And I do like scoring those goals. But again, he was through. He does chip. But nothing really comes of it. And I wanted a good goal, you know. And a good goal is coming up. But halftime did come around and we were winning the game by um, well, two goals. And it, I felt comfortable. It wasn't as tough for the first game. And after that, let me know if you, you feel like this as well. After you've come... A oh, my God. I'm just going to have to stop it there. What a fantastic finish in the 57th minute from Toro Vidal. A crazy shot. What a fantastic long shot that was. And another one. Oh, a good one, Balotelli. But what was I saying about actually uh, well playing someone who's very, very good and then coming up against someone who's very bad? Uh, you're just really pumped and you're in the mindset of playing a good game. And when you do come up, well, against sort of a lesser opponent, you just tend to really dominate. Let me know if that's the case for you. But unfortunately... We give him a penalty, and it's something that I really didn't want to get. I wanted to a clean sheet, you know, and we got one. What a fantastic save, lads. I just had sort of a, an idea that he was going to go straight down the middle, and we pull off another, what, yet another penalty save, lads. I think I'm just a boss. When it comes to penalty saves and taking penalties, uh, second to none, but moving into the game, oh... No, he was rage quit, but we do receive man of the match. Balotelli on a 9.8. That is absolutely crazy. So we are going to be getting the two upgrades. And I'm super excited to actually fill the left back and right wing position. So who should we bring in, lads? We've got a left back. Uh, I'm not really too sure on that. But the right wing position, I think we've got like two or three reds from Serie A. Do let me know in the comment section below. But lads, if you can leave a like now, if we can push for 100 likes, lads, come on. Just leave a like if you have enjoyed it. It's greatly appreciated. And if you haven't subscribed already, it's right there. Hit that subscribe button for daily feed 14 content. Take it easy, lads. Thanks for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.